you. You too. Good morning, guys. It is currently 6 a.m. Um, I'm going to spin class. I never get coffee before, but I had time, so we'll see how I feel about that one. Macy and I are going to a 6.30 spin class. For some reason, a 6.30 class today feels worse than I when I use 6 a.m. Pilates. I woke up, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I woke up and I didn't, I, I didn't want to. I, to say the least, I'll leave it at that, okay? And I got up, I did my skincare, and I was like, okay, I'm in. You know, it's the second I just get up and do my skincare, which is not like my real skincare, but like I splash my face with water, you know? Um, I feel better. So, really happy about that. Today is Tuesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. I honestly just had not the worst day, but like my anxiety was so high. I went way too wild this weekend. Like I just had so much that I did, you know? And honestly, I was just drinking like, not like crazy. I wasn't even like drunk. All, it was just like, I drank too much consistently. And like, I really watch my like alcohol intake at this point. Like I really don't drink as much as, you know, I, I once did. Um, and my anxiety was crazy yesterday. So, anyway, yesterday, like, evening to afternoon, I ended up reading all day. I finished the book, The It Girl. It was okay. It was, like, fine. I'm glad that the ending had a twist, but, like, I couldn't get into it. It took me longer to read than normal books because I just, like, wasn't obsessed. And then I started, like, the rewind or whatever last night. And I'm, like, 30% of the way through. It's, like, a fine, easy, like, romance book we'll see how i like it okay i'm gonna go because it's dark and you guys can't even see all right guys i blew out my hair and i'm waiting for it to fall but i accidentally curled this piece in and i've curled it back but it's falling so you know what are you gonna do it is 9 a.m my workout was great not like an early morning workout but it's raining outside and all i want to do is lay around and read a book um but i'm getting all my stuff done today is the okine pink launch day everything's already set so i'm good to go i just need to like post on socials at noon when we drop, but I saw all of our TikTok actually. The Joe and the Juice after, this is just like crazy timing because when we were in Europe, we kept getting Joe and the Juice. I ate Joe and the Juice like every day in college, but it was like all over Europe. So we were getting our tuna cottos, we were getting our juices and just having a great time. I came home and Joe and the Juice is going viral on TikTok and everyone loves the tuna cotto. So thank God, because now that means there's so many recipes online that I can make the tuna cotto from home and I've been craving it. So I will be doing that today. I also just miss cooking since I've been feeling, you know, really anxious, whatever. Oh, I'm getting back into horseback riding. My, my rancher just texted me, love her. So anyways, I'm just doing things that like make me feel better. So cooking, you know, reading, whatever, work writing, all that stuff. I do have a lot of work to do today. That doesn't just, I can't talk today, guys, whatever. Anyways, long story short, I literally couldn't have said that in a longer way. We're going to Sprouts and we're gonna get ingredients to the chinocado and then you guys are shocked to hear that I'm gonna make my bone broth beef stew again. I know. It is shocking, okay? But it is my favorite thing to eat currently. And I need to stop by Sir La Tab because I need to get a panini press for my sandwich. It's 9 a.m. now, so I need to do that. I also haven't really had my coffee. I ordered it, but... Okay, also random while I have you here. This stuff from Pride and Groom, the scent, it's like dog cologne essentially, and it makes the dog smell so good. Coco's getting groomed today because, you know, she's, she's looked better. Um, Coco update, she's doing much, much better. Anyways, this stuff makes your dog smell unbelievable. Like, everyone who came to my house was like, what happened to them? They smell so good. So, are you guys liking the long vlogs better? Like, one long vlog a week. It's kind of what I'm into. Dang it, they don't open until 10. I feel like I'm, like, too early. If y'all ever buy anything that I recommend in these vlogs, it's this vest, okay? Best vest ever. The puff bag and the pink scarf, honestly top three products you know what i really should in this vlog at some point this week i really love how we just have one video a week and it's just really long but at some point this week i will go through and do like a favorites update um because i have a lot of pro like products that i've been really loving specifically in makeup i also really want to try the mario makeup by mario foundations so maybe i'll do that i mean i'm late but like what are you gonna do also it's pouring like Every single time it rains, I'm like, what do I do with my dogs? And I just forget, you know? It's like I've never had dogs before when it rains, even though I've had a dog for the past seven years, so. Anyways, we are off. Just best best ever, I'll link it below. I'm like constantly wearing it. You know what else I love while we're here? Look at how cute my phone case is, it's wildflower. 
I haven't had a wild flower case, what case in years, and this one is so cute. I wore the wrong shoes, so now these Uggs, I really hope they don't get ruined. We'll see. Anyways, going to Sprouts, this is like the best time ever for me. And then to go get a panini press, like, I'm living, I'm really living. Hopefully I'll get a lot of reading in. Like today might just be my day. Today really, really might just be my day. first time I've given myself a blowout in a bit because I'm just when I do my hair, my hair gets done once and then I don't touch it I'm very lazy okay I was like you know I'm gonna give myself a blowout today I feel so fresh so clean uh, poured all over my hair so blowout is gone hair is in fact soaked so the tab didn't have what I needed anyways so we're going back home I went wild at the grocery store I went hungry I haven't really had breakfast yet so I've got to eat now. Um, I mean, sorry for all the plastic. Normally, I just don't do the plastic at all, but um, the carts were in the rain and it, my cart was soaked, so I kind of just had to. Really sorry. I know, it's, I know, guys, I know. Avocados, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet onions, red onions, or yellow onions. I got so many frozen foods too, because like it's supposed to snow. I doubt it will, but I just feel like I'm gonna get stuck in this house at some point this month. So I just kind of stocked up. I know I do love this like Sprouts frozen pizza. And then I wanted to just try these out. Um, I got pasture raised eggs because I saw a TikTok the other day about how bad eggs are for you. I don't know, like honestly, you win some, you lose some, you know? Jalapenos, sourdough, Annie's. I mean, you guys can see it all. I also got, I don't know why I got this veganese or veganese mayo because I'm not vegan, so that's interesting. Um, I love Sir Kingsington's. This is like what I do if I can. Also, I've been back listening to how I built this and I'm into it. Um, some sauerkraut. What do you guys put your sauerkraut on? And like, do you guys think it would be weird on avocado toast? I feel like maybe, I'm not sure. This is like one of my go-to cold brews to have from home. Um, beef broth, and then I just got some mac and cheese to have on hand because I never have it, and then people come over and they want it, so I got some of that, Olipop, and that is that. This is why you don't go to the grocery store hungry, but I'm stuck. I somehow forgot to vlog my experience making the tuna cotto. I forgot pesto, I'm not gonna put hot sauce on. I'm just trying it out right now. So here's the tuna and the mix. By the way, for the tuna cotto, they actually want, they have like a tuna mousse, and I don't mind, I don't really care about it being a mousse. So if you want that, you put it through a food processor. Anyways, really easy. I just used, good thing I didn't get that panini press because I actually, have this that I got from Ikea when I moved and I haven't used it once. It's actually very easy, I love that. Um, like a panini press or a panini, panini maker. I mean, this is not rocket science, it's like literally a sandwich. I ate so many snacks while I was making this and now I like can't even think about eating it at this second. And it's hot, so I'm gonna let it stay there. I have extra tuna later for lunch. Or a second lunch, I don't even know. My hair now, like, we cannot even talk about it. I also use purple shampoo, so my hair is literally gray. Like, I, I don't know, I couldn't have messed this up more. Anyways, today has actually been a really good day. So the pink scarves dropped and we are really running low on inventory already. I'm really just like getting out of an anxious funk, which was brought on by my PMDD and a wild weekend where I drink too much, more than I normally do. So we launched that today. I also, we did like a Dallas um, Yo Kind hosting like a hot Pilates class and it booked in six minutes. So I'm already working on other classes that we can just do across because you guys love it so much in Dallas. Um, It would be fun to do like other cities too. Like I definitely want to do stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just getting out of it. Coconut is getting groomed. I currently have her with the mobile groomer just because 
so you can't go to like a normal place right now anyways and i'm kind of wrapping up my day we're getting close to 5 p.m everything that i was supposed to do tonight got canceled because it's pouring rain it was outside we'll survive you know and i'm just making my to-do list for tomorrow i'm feeling good I don't even know what I said in this vlog so far. Are you, do you guys know about the Valentine's Day party? I don't know. Follow me on Instagram. That's basically we're gonna we're gonna get this up. But basically, we are getting out of this funk slowly but surely. I guess I've already worked out twice and that hasn't fully cured me. Guess I've read for hours and that hasn't fully cured me. But I'm getting there. Really, I need to do warning pages and stuff. We're getting there, guys. Something huge is happening right now. I got a DM when I was in Europe. I feel like a small business. I can't wait. I like am messing it all up and it's so cute. I mean, stunning. I got to pick a few things off the site and it's like my dream. Guys, this is beyond anything I could have ever possibly wanted. So they just sent me Beset. Is that how you say it? I just feel like I'm gonna sound so stupid because why? I don't know. My brain is just not working this week. Anyways, they sent me an entire dinner party set. So a tablecloth, some candlesticks, Salad plates, dinner plates, candlesticks. I mean, oh my god. Um, so there's four green wine glasses that probably came. Oh wait, one crystal dressing craft. Oh, so there definitely is another package. Wait. Okay, there's definitely another package because there's more stuff in this. Anyways, unbelievable. I'm so excited. It is seven, I'm about to go to my workout. It is so cold out, so I'm supposed to be going on a walk after the workout, but like, honestly, we'll see about that. I have weightlifting this morning, my athletic greens. I'm gonna try to stop getting coffee as soon as I wake up or like before my workout, because I hear it's a lot better for you, like hormonally, if you wait an hour or two and you don't have it first thing. Um, so, I'm gonna do that today and seven is not that early so i should be fine this is scary okay okay anyways i'm off to weightlifting this week my weightlifting episode went up with my coach we're also talking about like having a good relationship with fitness and not making things too extreme this light guys anyways it's a good like episode fitness wise in general for not taking things too seriously and being extreme. Here's my athletic greens. I'm throwing on every layer that I have right now. It's 30 degrees out. It was supposed to snow last night. It didn't. Who was shocked? The thing about Texas is it probably will snow once or twice a year, but they'll tell you it's snowing 17 other times. Cause we're like just, I feel like it's typically when it's like just about to drop to 30. Too, obviously, but it's too much can happen, okay? It normally doesn't at the right time. So, anyways, here I am. I'm back using my, do you guys like change into a purse and that's all you use for a week because you're just like too lazy to change it? Okay, I change into my puff bag a lot, but that's because my puff bag carries a lot more. But like day to day, you know, I just get lazy. I will say, maybe I don't like the medium rows because this looks like extra light. But I'm home for my workout. I just made some coffee. I'm gonna watch the Caller Daddy Chelsea Handler episode because I love Chelsea Handler. Eat my breakfast and then get ready. Guys, there are weeks when I like literally cannot shut up and I just have so much to say. Um, substance wise, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know if what I'm saying has much substance, but basically, there are weeks where I'm like so on it and so, like I have a billion things to say. I have so many ideas for content. I have so many like whatever. And this week it feels like there is nothing going through my brain. And all I want is to lay at home and cozy up in my bed and read books. You know, normally I, will, I get out of this phase. Normally I do. Today, really not so much, okay? So we're gonna go through really quickly my closet. And I'm gonna show you guys my like top worn pieces, what I've been loving. Maybe we'll even do favorites and like makeup. I will let you guys know 
right now. I'm using the exact same skincare products I've been using for like the past month. I use Summer Fridays and I'm like running out of stuff. I will say I go through it pretty quickly, but I have the Heavenly 16 all-in-one face oil, my holy grail skincare product. Not even, I mean, it does make my skin look so glowy and perfect. It's the best oil I've ever used, but it's amazing. When I was breaking out, I'm, I'm gonna go through this so quickly. Summer Friday is everything. I use the moisturizer, whatever. Um, when I was breaking out, I started using the Sonia Dakar Super Clear Serum, and then I like either the Apostrophe or the Curology Night thing, because those are custom. And night and day, my skin just clears up so quickly. Also, little chin update. I've noticed I'm a month out. Here's my update, okay. I'm a month out, right? Um, and I've noticed like you get like fat pockets underneath and it's like you gotta like lymphatic drainage them out So I've been doing that with my like what are they, the skinny confidential ball set whatever this is Um, and I notice a difference like it's definitely getting better. I love doing this to my face in the morning anyways Um, I really was waiting. I don't know. I like really want to tell you guys something uh, I am looking at houses We'll leave it at that because maybe in the next vlog I'll go more into that but I was just thinking how like I want a bigger like I want a bathroom that I can have like a skincare fridge in that isn't like tacky because I want my ice roller in there anyways let's go to my other face I'm doing an improv to impromptu favorites video okay so I obviously had this cow baby closet made which has now just turned into I just have like clutter in my house and I feel like I'm how often and I like decluttering in my house. I don't even know how this stuff gets here. Um, I definitely need to do that this week because that's part of me feeling like anxious. There's just too much stuff and I just, I can't feel unorganized. I don't like that at all. Showing you guys some of my most worn pieces. Okay, this sweater that I got um, from Aritzia is so cute. I'm gonna wear it tonight. That's why I pulled it. Um, I love that. My most worn bag is definitely my puff bag. This bag fits legit everything but i haven't worn okay here's the thing tonight maybe i'll wear this bag because i haven't worn it yet this is the one that i left in london um and i got it because we have so many events coming up for the pink scarf also it's my favorite color that's not the only reason i got it but i plan to wear it to all these events we have um like a Lila's happy hour next week we have probably more to pilates but we have like a galentine's day thing it's just gonna be also like my most worn bag probably this summer okay listen guys i got this puff jacket from Hill House and it was pricey but it's one of these things that I'm like I will wear this forever and like I want to go skiing so bad I've never been and basically every ski trip that I've almost gone on this year has gotten canceled so I did get this thinking I was gonna get even more wear out of it due to my potential ski trips that are not happening because no one wants me to ski but I just think it's so cute like it is adorable and I feel like it's something I'll keep forever. I love like floral prints. I love like the cottage core stuff right now. So it's kind of just perfect. I have this vest from Urban Outfitters and I've tried to link it a few times for you guys and I haven't seen it. I actually got this in I think it was my newly and I bought it from them because I just loved it so much and it's like one of my favorite things. One thing about me, I love a vest, okay? And these are so cute. The thing about vests too is that they really are so classic. So I feel like this vest, my gray vest, my black vest, like I will keep them for like 10 years because I love them so much and it's not like you're like washing them constantly and like they're not getting like worn out because I'm just wearing them for like a couple hours over my actual clothes. But this vest is really cute. I'll try to link other ones. I also like getting my vest from H&M. Um, I try to like limit shopping there, but the vests there are really, really good. Okay, also this fur jacket or coat I got really just because it like was so cute for my outfits in Europe and then also it's just like a fur coat, you know? Sometimes I'm like, am I over these? Am I over them? You know? And the other times I'm like, I feel like these, obviously it's fake fur by the way. I feel like they come and go in and out of like style but they're kind of a classic. And this is the softest thing you'll ever wear and it's so warm and just fun and like something about wearing this is just like funny to me. So I love this Abercrombie sweater. It's just a chocolate brown sweater. I honestly should be wearing this. I'm actually gonna change what the sweater that I'm wearing now. Um, I am like such a cardigan, the holiday girl, but not for right now. I have meetings and like, I don't know. That's not really the vibe that I was going for today. 
Anyways, this Abercrombie sweater. Abercrombie is like my favorite go-to. Pretty much every pair of jeans that I wear, every pair of jeans that I wear the most are from Abercrombie. But even like every pair of denim that I have is essentially Abercrombie. It's rare that I have any others at this point because Abercrombie is just the best. Anyways, this is the sweater. It's so cozy. Love. Okay, that's what we're going to keep it for, like, clothes and outerwear. Because a lot of what I wear, they're not even clean right now. But it's, like, the Skims long sleeve shirt. This one's actually Ritzia. But, like, the one I was wearing earlier under my hoodie is Skims. I basically live in a Skims long sleeve every single day. And I have all different kinds. I love the fits everybody probably the most. But I wear them all. Like, it really doesn't matter. Um, so I wear that pretty much every day. And either, like, sweats, jeans, Uggs, outerwear scarf and that's pretty much it okay moving on to my favorite like skincare products and things i've been using lately i also really need to self tan tonight i said this before and i'll say it again this is the best setting spray ever it makes your makeup look so good i'm obsessed i've been using this j-lo perfume i like oh that wasn't even my hand um i like it but this morphe setting spray unbelievable and you get this massive one 23 dollars for 39 dollar value it is the best like I love it I also have been working on my hair health and my sister made me buy this Orbe restyling spray um, and so anytime it's like a I don't even know if it's a heat protectant but basically anytime I'm restyling my hair I use it guys I have this Jones Road miracle bomb right isn't that what it's called like what does that do what does a miracle bomb do I'm kind of lost honestly um, I am gonna put a little bit of makeup on just because I want to look a little bit more alive than I am like feeling today. I use my dipsticks like every single day. I want to use other bronzing sticks. I feel like maybe I'll find one that I like even more, but I do really like the dibs and I like the blushes and it's just so easy for travel. The Rare Beauty Happy Liquid Blush, a dream. Like this has been one of my favorite products in the past year. I need to get a new one, I'm pretty much out, but I just love Rare Beauty. What's crazy and different, I think, about Rare Beauty, outside of being, like, a celebrity brand and whatever, and, like, it actually being really good, is that, like, name another makeup brand that you, like, they have, like, a cult product in every category. You know what I mean? Also, I look a lot paler on camera than I do right now, so don't mind that. But, like, Giorgio Armani, like, foundation, um... Like, NARS concealer, Tarte concealer, like, you know what I'm saying? But with Rare, people love, like, every single product. I haven't tried the concealer, I don't think. I don't even know if they have a concealer. But the foundation is amazing. Here's my powder brush. I'm using the Tarte um, press powder. I just love, I'm not Tarte, Thrive Cosmetics. But you could do, like, a full face of Rare Beauty, and it would, like, still potentially be your favorite products. You know what I mean? Like, everything they make is incredible. And I feel like that's rare. Normally, you have, like, a few cult classics, and you move on to the next brand, you know? Oh, also, I cannot believe I didn't mention this. So, this bronzer that I've been using, it's this Fenty bronzer in the shade Coco Nani. Seven. It is so good. Like I went over to even my guy friend's house like on Friday for a pregame and they were like, oh my god, you look so tan. And they even said that I looked really pretty, which is like really something for them to say. And I swear it is that bronzer. Like it makes you just look. It's also a warmer shade, which really could be all the difference for me. So I feel like most of my bronzers are more of a cool shade and it just warms up my face so much my makeup artist is who used it on me first and i was like that is what i need so love that i also wrote the makeup by mario like the master pat what is this the like yeah master mats the thing is like i have all the makeup brushes in the world well that's dramatic i did buy a new makeup brush set okay like an eyeshadow set I still, it doesn't matter what I do, it looks the same every time. And granted, this is, you know, neutral, mattes, whatever. It's gonna look similar. I don't know. And, like, I also don't try that hard. So, that could also be something. But, like, even when I was younger and I was really trying a lot harder, it really doesn't matter what I do. But I do want to start doing, like, um, eyeshadow eyeliner, you know? Just doing, like, powdered eyeliner. Because I love when people do that and it gives you, like, a little soft effect. So I definitely think I'm going to start doing that, but that's just kind of like my current favorite products. Oh, um, I'm sure all of you guys have done the Mary Phillips um, technique where you put your bronzer and concealer on before you put your foundation on. 
and I love that. Like, it's way more my vibe of makeup. It looks, like, more natural and whatever. Um, I'm not, like, a full glam girl. I also can't do full glam, so, like, maybe I would be a full glam girl if I could do it. But even if I could, I don't think I would. I'm just, like, too lazy when it comes to getting ready. Like, my sister will spend so, like, she's just so good at makeup. And also, like, doesn't mind spending, like, so long to get ready. Whereas, like, I, I don't have that, like, patience or, like, dedication to make it look. Like, I wish that I was, like, that. I wish I was good at it, like her. You know what I mean? And she, like, just taught herself. Like, she is really good at it. And I am just, it's not my thing. I'm not good at it, so... Anyways, Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, as always, my favorite mascara. I have a code normally for Thrive Cosmetics on the podcast, so if I do, I'll try to put it below. Obviously, the Morphe setting spray. Today, I have a meeting with my management team about 2023 and goals and just things that I want to do. And then after that, I have a meeting with the Family Place, which is an organization, like a charity that I work with. And we're doing um, like a sneaker soiree thing in Dallas. And then um, I just have like work that I need to do. And tonight I we're doing like a Botox and like lip hydro lip face not hydro hydro what is it hydro facial on your lip? I don't really know. I never heard of it until he told me about it. And apparently it's amazing. So I'm doing that. So if you guys ever want to come, you get basically member pricing. So you get like nine dollars a unit at Dermati Med Spa, and a bunch of you guys are coming tonight, which will be very fun. So. That is it for my favorites portion of this vlog. And then maybe as I go throughout the day, I'll think of more that are just not right in front of me. I'm hoping I get like a wind of inspiration to like go through and spend an hour just decluttering my house and get rid of stuff because that will make me feel better. But I'm just so confused how this stuff even gets here. I just don't know because I really, really don't know. Okay, I'm logging on to my meetings this stupid TV that is purple behind me. Guys, I know that I can change the screensaver and I have multiple times and I keep getting people asking me how I changed it and then I just need to let you know that uh, it comes back. So there's not much I can do. Anyways, logging off. Guys, tuna sandwiches, they might be it. And you know, this might look a little burnt. Who cares? Who cares? So good. I didn't put, I got lazy. I didn't put tomato or avocado or anything else on there because I was just so hungry. But it was like, I just had tuna. And that was quick, like whatever I made yesterday. I know this is not a revolutionary concept, but why haven't I been doing this? All right, guys, my day is actually nowhere near over. Or I'm about to head out, you can't even see me. Sorry, I'm heading to my little Dermani Med Spa thing. Um, I worked all day, my mom came over for lunch. I need to go through, I got even more packages today. I need to go through the clutter. By the way, I have a family. I don't sell any of my stuff. I don't feel right doing that when like most of it was like gifted for free. That just like feels weird to me. But um, there are like women's shelters in Dallas that I used to donate to like Genesis, but now I mainly donate to like one specific family that's like in my like life. Um, I give a lot of stuff to friends, but I also give a lot of stuff to them. So I do get a lot of questions about that. I don't sell it and um, yeah, I donate everything. So anyways, I didn't even change. I'm just wearing this. I'm just, I mean, you guys already know I'm like in a funk, you know, it's just, we're working on it. Dom and I just posted our Victoria's Secret pink deal and I have never felt so popular in my entire life. Like, oh, I mean, basically they're nudes essentially. And everyone's just being so nice. Like maybe they're like, oh, they know that this is like awkward. I didn't feel awkward posting it. But like, you know what I mean? And everyone's like being extra nice, but I don't care. I feel popular. Guys, let me tell y'all about a little something that I just did at this Botox party that I had. First off, if you guys are in Dallas and you want to do a Botox party at Germani, you easily can. You just have to get 10 people and then you get membership pricing, so it's like $9 a unit, and then you probably get a perk, like you kick back if you're the one organizing it. Anyways, I got a hydrofacial lip perk. It's always good to hydrofacial on your lips, but it gives you a little bit more like plumpness. They're so hydrated. You know, in the winter, I feel like I'm putting on chapstick every, honestly, like 20 minutes, and my lips feel so hydrated and like so soft. Anyways, if you guys have never heard of a hydrofacial lip perk like myself, you need to go get one because it's amazing. And member pricing, here it's $30, so I don't know, and it was like so quick, but it's like literally life-changing. Like I will be doing this regularly now. Anyways, I'm heading home now. Great news, I'm back and I think I have 
a little, a little motivation in me to quickly just go do a quick declutter. First, a face mask, and then a declutter, and then a self-tanning moment, and then we're done. Like, I have all these clothes that I haven't even been able to put away yet because my closet is basically full. So we're going through and just getting rid of stuff. Not getting rid of it, I'm donating it. I'm gonna feel so good when I wake up tomorrow tan. But for the time being, oh, this is a slugging mask. One hydrogel face mask. Wait, do I keep it on? No, keep it on for 10 minutes. But you do it after you finish your skincare. I'm not doing skincare tonight because I'm doing my, I'm gonna self tan. So I'm just gonna try this for a second. I know it doesn't really make sense because slugging is supposed to like, you know, lock the products in, but whatever, I have more. Hydra gel face mask. I mean, these loops face mask in general, this is a new one, but just their classic mask. I will link them below. Treat yourself because they are the best. Like there's no better face mask at all. And I just feel like my skin is so dry. I booked a Hydra facial for next week. Like the January like slump almost is kind of hitting me. I actually like January, but January is kind of a hard month. Anyways, it's hard on your skin too. Like everything about January, it's a little tough. This definitely has like a lot more like hydro gel where it's blocking and supposed to be slugging. Cause you have to like stay on your face a little bit easier. This is like exactly what I needed. Okay, off to figure this out. Okay, so I just went through my clothes and a little bit of my closet. I didn't fully declutter the closet, but I got rid of stuff that was like on the floor. I still have like these clothes in the corner left, a lot of the hangers, but I got a lot done and I'm feeling a lot better and I'm gonna go shower and self tan. Every night, like literally every single night before bed, I put my outfit out for the next morning. I have like my whole life, but I don't plan my like real outfits anymore. Actually, I should start doing that. Why don't I do that anymore? I don't plan like my actual outfits for the day, which would save me so much time and make my life so much easier. But I do always have like my workout stuff out. Um, I've been wearing a lot of Fabletics lately. I'm working with them on the podcast and they've sent over a ton of stuff. And it is like so good. Like I forgot how much I love Fabletics. Like in college, most of my, a lot of my favorite sets were from Fabletics. And then also I just got a package from Story. So this bra is Fabletics, cute, just simple black. And then these leggings are Story, I think. Let me see. I'll probably share with y'all a Fabletics haul tomorrow because we got a bit package in, but I have everything ready. I feel like my room just feels better. I'm gonna take this off. It does feel incredible. And just relax, take a nice little bath and then self tan. I'm really, I'm, I'm feeling like good, you know? I feel like I'm getting out of this. What I really need is the infrared sauna, but I just don't have time to do that tomorrow. I am going on Friday, so that'll help, but I should have just done it on Monday, because the infrared sauna followed by cryo cures all. Like, it, it actually really does. Good morning, guys. Okay. I wish I had time to get Starbucks before class. I don't think that I will. Starts in 30 minutes. I don't know. I really want an iced coffee. Literally yesterday. 
literally yesterday. I said I'm not doing that anymore as soon as I wake up. But I did wake up over an hour ago. So that's why it's different today. Anyways, this Skims like, boyfriend t-shirt is the most comfortable, there we go, most comfortable shirt ever. These leggings are story. I feel like, like, I don't know, just Fatletics run big, typically. Because I feel like all the stuff I'm getting from them is like a little bit too big and I'm normally a medium. But now with these story, I don't know, like maybe my laser is changing and things are not like fitting like they used to and so now I'm confused. I think that's probably what it is. Anyways, um, I'm going to Hot Pilates this morning. I'm very excited. I haven't been in like two weeks because I had to cancel my classes last week. And it's just always a great time. Okay. It's been really cold out. Oh my god, my hair. Whatever. I'm getting a blowout today, so it's really just on its... It's really on its last... Last end. Also, these bar crews are, like, the best crews ever. I want other crews, like, that have this fit that don't say the bar. Like, I want other... Something. Like, you know what I mean? I just... I want this basic crew with nothing on it is basically what I want. Guys, I'm doing great. I was supposed to be late. For the first time literally ever. I'm always 10 minutes early. Got here five minutes early. Um, even got my coffee. I feel bad. This parking lot sucks and you're like stuck and like blocking other people's spots, but you can't get over. You look like you're all bad parkers, but basically there's not space. So anyways, got my coffee. Here's me before Pilates. Love it. Luke Combs announced a new song tomorrow. I mean, I'm like living. Here's me after in the Smoothie King line. That was tough. I'm feeling good. I have therapy and then I have so much to get done but here's the thing i've said this before i get i'm getting a blowout i get so much done when i'm in a blowout chair like i don't know what it is it's like i took like adderall or something i've never even taken adderall before but like something like that okay like it just yeah so hopefully i get a lot done and we'll see um i got so many ideas i need to text jess while i was in pilates which is what normally happens to talk ideas i got in pilates Okay, bye. All right, guys, I went to therapy. A little life update and an effort to become less, at least, of an anxious avoidant. No, of an anxious, okay, fuck, I can't talk. Also, like, I need to wear clothes that aren't sweats every day, but, like, I work from home, so it's really difficult to get me to, like, want to wear jeans, you know? Even though, obviously, like, it's better, it makes you more productive, and blah, 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 but, like, I just, I haven't been in the mood. I have not been in the mood, okay? Little life update and an effort to become, um, well, to unbecome an anxious attachment style. I do believe I now am an avoidant, okay? If you guys don't know anything about attachment styles, it is the most interesting thing ever. The book Attached is one of the best books I've ever read. As someone who, like, doesn't even, like, consuming any sort of dating content because it just gives me anxiety i don't want to hear all these rules i don't want to hear this if i don't want to read like i'm just so over it i feel like when i was going through a breakup i was so fascinated by it and then i just like learned a lot and since i've like really stopped dating for a very extended period of time not anymore as of recent but like i was like completely not dating for a long time it just something about it gave me such unneeded like pressure and stress and it just like made something that already didn't sound fun seem even less fun anyways with that being said the book attached is so good i read that in 2020 and it helped me more with all types of relationships obviously more so romantic relationships like it's a dating book but it is so much more than a dating book it is so good anyways i was an anxious attachment style and typically you become your attachment style based off like your childhood a lot of it is like largely your first year of life too which is crazy um and now i think i'm an avoidant with commitment issues so and by commitment issues i mean like i'm not even committing to much i mean committing to like texting someone back yeah it's it's dark it's dark here so anyways i'm going to get a blowout i brought my laptop my puff bag and my pink scarf my laptop to get some things done. I am feeling better than I was, and I just know that by tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be fully cured because tomorrow will be the sauna, and that will, that'll cure me. I am brand new, okay? Okay, scarf, so cute, available now. Guys, give me a sec, hold on. Do you guys know 
the, the scam that is the dry cleaners. First off, what even is dry cleaning? Can someone explain that to me? I don't understand it. Second, do you know how expensive dry cleaning is? I brought a, like a blanket there once and I don't even actually, you know what? No, for my own like mental health reasons, I'm not even gonna tell you what I had to spend. I had no idea it was gonna be that expensive. I was just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Didn't ask the price because I just like, in my head, it wasn't gonna be that much money. Like that, I can't describe it other than, you know what, no, I think it wasn't that I didn't ask. I think it was that like once I gave it to them, they told me or something like that, I don't know. Basically, I had no idea that they like rob you there. Like it was something else, okay? Anyways, long story short, I now have my blowout with my bouncy curls and I feel amazing. All right guys, we're back home. I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm gonna just do very light makeup. As we know, this has been a very low energy week, but I did just wanna catch up. I've been having some thoughts finally. Here we go, getting a blowout. I mean, it is my ultimate self-care. I've been so exhausted this week. Like, I was in like a very deep thought. What am I saying? Okay, this sounds so, I was like being, that was supposed to be sarcastic, and then it like was, just sounded very serious. Like it, okay, anyways. Also, I forgot I put all of my like favorite lip products in here. I think when I was going to Europe, like what am I doing? That's where they've all been. I even got a new pillow talk. Okay, I like hate being me sometimes. Oh, maybe I should try the Revlon concealer. Anyways, there's a few things I wanted to say. First off, um, on the topic of the whole like Michaela mascara gate that's been all over TikTok this week, I'm sure like a week ago, these vlogs go up a little bit later. Guys, I agree that you should be honest and transparent in not even just ads, but also like anything to do with like beauty. Like I'm very, like if I get anything done, you guys will know, whatever. But also in terms of like surgery or something more drastic, like I also think at the same time, like you do have a right to privacy. This is obviously separate from the mascara thing. You do have a right to privacy, but just because obviously like my entire purpose of being on the internet is like, I, I don't even know, like, I feel like we're all friends. Like I would never want to like contribute to unrealistic um, body image standard. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, personally for me as a pillar in my life, it is important for me to be honest. And I think it's important as a whole, but I also respect when people, it's like, you know, you're allowed, you're entitled to privacy, you're entitled to, you know, whatever. Anyways, that doesn't have to do with the mascara thing, but I think, regardless of being an ad or not, you should be honest of like lashes or mascara. I do think it's not great to lie about that in an ad, even though obviously, yes, commercials lie about it all the time. Obviously. Like, it's always a lie. Like, pretty much always. Um, commercials are always lying about that, okay? The difference here is that this is a, an influencer and you build your brand off of your like genuine connection and authenticity with your audience. So that's where it gets tricky. If she's really wearing eyelash, I can't believe this is the job that we have at the end right now. If she's really wearing lash extensions, yeah, I don't think that's like the best thing to do. Like I really, I'm gonna put this primer on and just whatever. I don't think it's the best thing to do, right? But are we gonna kill her? Like, what? Well, like, it is, I'm just saying, like, yes, I don't think it's great, and I, you know, whatever, but, like, also at a certain point, it's like, I think we all just need to go outside. I think we need to go outside. I think we need to touch some grass. I think we need to breathe in fresh air, okay? Like, it, zoo, like if you just, like, look from, like, a different perspective of, like, this is not life ending. Like, I don't know. I, I understand, and I do get it, and, like, I personally also, as an influencer, would not do that. I think I... Oh, I'm not even using this, so it's fine. Okay. I personally, as an influencer, wouldn't do that because I do care about like being honest and whatever. But it's at the same time, it's like, guys, I think we have to like, I think we have to, um, I don't know. It's, it's like also, it just, it's not great, but like also, what guys? Like we gotta, we gotta do something. You know what I mean? It also just, I don't know, I'm like kind of, I mean, I'm very much so going through it and I feel like that's not obvious. Like in therapy today, I was like, I'm just very, very you would, it's like, I think, I, I don't even think this is right. I guess we'll see. I feel like when it comes to, oh God. Okay. Like I am, you know, when you're like going through like a harder time or a more like traumatic experience or something and you're just like more in like fight or flight and things just like set you off more 
that's where I'm at now. And when I was in therapy today, I was just thinking like, yeah, even like friends I haven't seen in like two weeks, it's like, it is crazy how much like the internet, it's, it's not even like the internet is alive because it's like when bad things are happening, like when I, if you guys are new here, I mean, I don't, I haven't talked about this like a ton or at least extensively. I lost, um, or we lost like my stepmother, um, in like tw a couple years ago when I was in college and my cousin, I lost my cousin like a year and a half, like not even a full year and a half before that, like 14 months before he passed. So there's like a lot of grief, right? Bear with me. Like I have a point with this conversation. Okay. And I have just, I don't know. I feel like on the internet like there's so many things where it's like you can look at someone and like have no idea they're going through anything even a lot of my friends that i haven't seen recently would have like no idea right but one i think just that's kind of like my personality type sometimes like i still need a little bit of normalcy during these periods of time um and also just like your life still goes on when like things are happening this is <laughs> i like hope i'm making sense but again bear with me guys i was thinking today and i was like wow it like really does suck sometimes when you're like on the internet and you're any of us i feel like when you're on the internet and like you want to be like fully authentic and fully yourself but there's just things that are going on that are like just really not even like one not your business to share but also like not even like appropriate at that time to share you know whatever and it got me thinking about okay i'm like pretty much out of foundation i like need to go get this like this is what's happened to my nars like that's how it came guys oh, okay so then I was like, wow, I kind of feel fake because it's like, you know, I am going through it, but like I'm posting like my life as it's happening because that's also happening. It's like both and, but it is kind of crazy. Like, and then it's like, wow, am I fake? But then I was, I was talking to my therapist about this. Like, I just think like, while it's important to be authentic, it doesn't mean that you have to be like on the internet crying all the time. I'm just not an internet crier. It's like not my thing. And also I just spend like way too much money in therapy to not just like talk about it in therapy. You know what I mean? Or like, Whatever, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, that's just like not how I cope with things and it's not the best way. So with that being said, it also sucks because I care so much about like being authentic and like when I feel like there's something going on and I can't talk about it or whatever, it, it makes me feel like I'm like almost like further away from y'all or like disconnected, which like sucks, but like it doesn't, it wouldn't even be like healthy for me to be talking, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think about like being authentic? Cause I think you can be authentic without over sharing and like trauma dumping and i think that like the internet has confused being authentic at times with trauma dumping and then on top of that when you're in this like fight or flight thing like i've been so tired all week obviously in a funk to like put it loosely but like so tired all week long and i know it's like i'm emotionally exhausted but i just I don't know it's like obviously it's important you never know what people are going through you know whatever but also it's like when i'm in fight or flight like i woke up this morning to a girl who was like trying to attack me on instagram like posting all these stories and stuff and i was like i can't even deal with this right now like i i'm not gonna respond and like i don't think she meant it towards me but it was just like i do not have the emotional capacity at this point and also like i will probably just like not respond in a way that's like me, you know? But because I've been like more on a fight or flight, the internet is just bothering me so much right now. It's like, let people live. Like no one can do anything without people like so over responding or overreacting or like, and I'm not talking about like social justice issues to be clear, that's never what I'm talking about. It's like things that are just so, so, I don't know, not even the Michaela thing, like just like everything. Like I feel like everyone, and again, like this is coming from like my perspective right now when I'm like in like a really emotionally stressed thing. So I'm like picking up on the negatives and it's bothering me more and whatever, like normally I'm like whatever. But sometimes it's like, guys, I really, I really think that we just need to go outside. And I don't even mean that in a condescending way. I just mean like, why? Like it is just like at a certain point, like are we not embarrassed that this is how we're acting? You know what I mean? You know, I've talked a lot about my like not dating experience. I mean, I feel like I haven't even talked that much about it because I haven't been dating in so long. And for whatever reason, I feel like I just am like I, oh, more open to it than I was. What's interesting and what I mentioned earlier is that I used to be more of an, an anxious attachment style and I would always go for avoidant attachments. And it was like, there was something in that that was safe to me because I don't know 
what it was necessarily like recreating from like my childhood or what but like or if it's like a hyper independence thing because it was like I was anxiously attached and I wanted that but like I would go for people who are like emotionally unavailable subconsciously so that they couldn't get like really close enough until they would get close enough you know what I mean this light thing that I have like never ever stay charged and it drives me insane it's the best light like watch it'll probably die soon like I just like what maybe it won't anyways um but in just like the past like month or so I've noticed myself being like I think I'm like an avoidant or like a commitment phobe at this point which is so ironic because if you would have like a year and a half ago that is so like not not what I was like literally at all so got a backpedal on that that Alexa Losi told me years ago and I I've, I've said it so many times online I mean I always credit her but I don't think she would even I actually should ask her if she remembers telling me this I saw her recently but I was very young in LA and she was like always just so nice to me um, and we were at her house one day just talking hanging out and she said that she got this advice and it was like don't date someone unless you're already amazing unless they make your already amazing life more amazing I'm like also not dating any like it's not that I just feel like I'm not as like closed off as I once was like I was very closed off like a person like a boy would like talk to me and I'd be like leave me alone like I was just like I just I don't know I feel like I was just like I had overdone it for a while and I I mean there was just some some experiences I just needed a break is what I needed I needed a break but I now feel like I'm in a lot better of a place like with that stuff however now I'm noticing after all that I think I might be the commitment phobe and like also it's interesting because it's like weird I feel like a lot of the time we get confused or at least I will but I, I feel like anytime I, I always say we because I feel like anytime I voice something online or on this channel either the world at large feels that way or like y'all feel that way because I feel like we're very close and I'm sure that we all have a lot in common like a lot of the girls that I mean public all the time are I feel like I would be like friends with all of you guys you know and like we get the concept of being emotionally available and like overly emotional confused because I was even texting my cousin today and I was like I think like I it's like I will write people off because I'm like uh they're like too emotional and it's like no like and by the way there is a difference like you there is a difference between being overly emotional and emotionally available but I'm like they really are two separate things because I would say the, even that the last two guys that I dated were very emotional but like emotionally unavailable but because they were so emotional it didn't seem like they're emotionally unavailable like emotionally unavailable is like healthy they go to therapy they're clear they, there's clarity you know what I mean like it's just different but I feel like I've confused even like in recent times in my life like someone I'm like oh I don't know they like seem really emotional and like I actually like guys that are a little more emotional because the guys in my family like my immediate family are definitely more emotional but I don't want like emotional to where it's like really intense you know like just like not afraid to show emotion more so uh, because I think that's actually like a really like strong trait and quality to have but I've also noticed myself like confusing that I'm like that is not even the same thing like literally at all you know so anyways that's kind of where i'm at i feel like after this week i'll feel a little bit better i also have pmdd and this is the week i have like one week a month where i'm like really out of it and really tired it's like honestly horrible but really like every three months like on that cycle it's way worse the week leading up to my period and i've just been like so tired and like emotional and whatever and there's obviously things going on that would make me that way but like not i don't know guys like i really don't know macy and i today we're going to the ranch in las colinas it's this restaurant that looks like right up my alley it is outside of dallas i really don't honestly do anything unless i'm with family outside of dallas i think also because like i grew up here so like, i grew up outside of dallas and once you live in a city, it's just like, I don't know if this is like every other city, but like once you're in the city, you just don't want to leave. Like everything is here. Why would you leave? Such a long drive, even though like it's 20 minutes. Like if I would have heard myself saying that when I lived in LA, I would have like literally, yeah, no, like that. 25 minutes is nothing there, you know? Favorite setting spray. This is also the first time that I have put makeup on all week. So I need to pick up my outfits. 
and then get going. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little chatty thing. I don't have lip liner like on me, but I'm gonna try this now. I got this in at Harrods when we were in London. I also I just like on this topic of like when you feel like you're in fight or flight and you're just like more emotional. It's like so it's like almost like you know like when you have anxiety and suddenly you think all your friends hate you. It's like that too. I'm like all right. Like I don't know. It's just. I don't know, I feel like it's just like everything gets like more intense. Oh shoot. My god, both of my foundations are falling apart. Everything gets more intense and annoying. But there's always good things happening even during the bad. And that's what I always remind myself of. Because like so much of my life is amazing. Like there's just, you know, like, I don't know. That's just like kind of typical. But JLo perfume. It's like a good, I don't know, it smells good. It's good perfume. I also got this iPhone stand that I use for TikTok a lot. I'll link it on Amazon. I like feel like millennials do that on TikTok, right? Um, or is it Gen Z that does that? I feel like that's like a millennial thing now. Anyway, it's good. Bria we had it when we went to a cooking class and I oh my God, I need to go to a cooking class soon. It's a genius idea. Okay guys, this is my look for today. I look so like country. And I really didn't mean to. <laughs> the only reason I'm like self-conscious of it is because I'm going to this place called The Ranch and I don't want them to think I'm a try hard. Um, you know what I mean? Like sometimes it's like you don't want to be like, they're gonna be like, wow, she really dressed for the occasion. And you know what, whatever. What about a little enthusiasm in life, you know? It wasn't intentional though. Anyways, this jacket my grandma made me for Christmas. How cute. Has this like, what is it, twill or twill? What is it called? I don't even know. Horses, I picked out the just, like fabric, I love it. I have Abercrombie jeans on, cowboy boots, skims, t-shirts, and that is the look. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then leave, but I feel good now that I've actually gotten ready. Guys, I don't even know if you can hear us. Um, we're at the ranch. Do you look? Know, like, I don't look as bad as I thought. No, that was gonna be a jump scare. I got a ranch water. Your purple's coming out of that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our Saturday in Fort Worth took years off my life. And like, I mean that. That's really saying something to me for me. But it was the best night ever. It was so fun. And we're going to do a little podcast episode on how to plan for the best night ever. Because yeah. let's face it, a lot of times when you go out, you're like, why did I go out? Yeah, I, I like how that's what we're doing. I don't even know that's what we're doing. Yeah, we're actually like, not, but it could be No, a that's segment. a good one. We should do that. Yeah. yeah. Macy's been doing like the how... podcast episode. She said she'll come with questions for herself. Yeah, and I like how a lot of your guests are like really insightful and I'm like, how to have the best night out. I have more to say. That's actually a really good podcast episode. Thank you, because I've had- And also low expectations, but like chaotic energy. Okay, wait, low expectations, but like, I don't know the difference. Oh, I think our food's coming. All the food that we got looks amazing. We just went to Funky Fun Studios. It's later. And it was so cool. If you guys need a cool like photo place in Dallas, but we're having a Valentine's Day event on February 9th there. Um, so if you guys are in Dallas, RSVP at the link below. And also, um, it's gonna be on my Instagram and stuff, but it's benefiting the family place. So, which is like the organization that I'm working with that is helping victims of family violence, which is one in three women in Texas. Which is crazy. So we're doing that. We're gonna have like a whole thing. We're collecting canned goods. We're gonna be selling the Okine and a portion of that will be going to the family place and donated that night. We're also going to have people like there to speak and just like hang out and drinks and food. It's gonna be a really fun time. Galentine's attire, whatever that means to you. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a great party. Hope to see you guys there in Dallas, but it's very exciting. Good morning guys. I just put on this set from Story. I tried to wear a new Fabletics set and I think that Either like my legs are changing from weightlifting or they just run big. And I think they just run big because a lot of the pieces were just like, almost, like slightly baggy leggings and there's like nothing worse than that. But the stuff is actually cute. So I have to figure that out. I'm coming prepared with an outfit for after. I need shoes too. Because I'm going to the sauna finally, guys. I know I haven't set up it all week. But you get like really hot and gross, obviously. So I don't want to like put back on like stuff that I worked out in. So bringing an extra outfit. <sighs> Macy texted me this morning and she went to Fit Social before. And basically, when you walk in and you see like the bands on 
the equipment, you know, that you're gonna do pull-ups that day, and it's taking everything at me to go. I hate pull-ups. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I don't wanna do them, I have no interest, I don't wanna be a part, I don't wanna be involved, I want nothing. But if I don't, I mean, this is my fifth day of my workouts this week, so I don't really have choice, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go, but I'm not gonna have a very good attitude. I'm really not. And then I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna be happier than ever that I've left, you know? Also, I've brought back these Birkenstocks I used to wear all the time, just as like random house shoes. I'm not like obsessed with them like I once was, but they're fine for like house shoes, you know? This is me right now, driving to weightlifting where I have to do a pull up. And it just, it's gonna be after like five minutes, so. <sighs> Wish me luck, everyone. <sighs> Let me tell you guys a little something about my pull-ups, my pull-ups today, okay? A little bit about my pull-up journey. Pull-ups are not fun, and they're way harder than I remember as a child, okay? Started going to weightlifting, like, I don't know, a while ago. You guys, you know, like at least, I would say eight months, six months, I don't know, whatever, anyways, no one cares. Anyways, I went to class today. I walk in, I already knew ahead of time that we were doing pull-ups, because you can always tell because the bands are hanging. Anyways, I got up there and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna face my fears. I'm gonna do it, and I am strong. Very strong these days. Um, and I killed it. I did all of my, I did four reps of eight, no breaks. I mean, obviously, with the band, not on my own. No one is doing it on my own. And with the black band at that, which is the easier band. But who cares? Who cares? I am now the strongest person in the world. Watch out, I'm afraid to open doors because what if I open a door and it just falls off the hinges? Like, I have to be so careful with my newfound muscles. It really is just, it's a bit scary these days. Like people, no one knows, no one knows what it's like to live like this, to where, I mean, pretty soon I'm gonna break through all of my clothes. This coat, I could barely fit around my muscles, so. Anyways, um, I clearly, now that I'm talking, I think I'm getting out of my funk. And I'm going to wait, no, I'm going to sauna, and I'm going to the cryo, the cryo machine, with the like, you go in. Basically, if you guys are new to the vlogs, I do an infrared sauna for like 40 minutes, and that is like my ultimate inner peace like achieved I'm the happiest I've ever been but the key with that is that after you have to do cryotherapy and you walk into this like chamber and it's like negative 140 degrees and you're in like a you're basically nude but you have like small items on like you have like a like a bun no sorry you don't have a bun you have a beanie you have socks you have a glove on whatever and you go in for like three minutes I'm at three minutes and three or four for intensity I haven't done it in a few in like a month honestly I used to do it weekly and I listen to That Girl by Beyonce and it's like my pump up song and it just really gets me going. Like it, it is amazing. And then once I leave that, I'm like, I'm running for president. It does something to your psyche that like I can't even describe to you. I really can't describe to you. It's amazing. That was just incredible. Okay. Since I haven't done cryo in a bit, I was like, I can't do this. Not really. It's, it's like a mental thing. I really do need to see what, I think it's negative 144 degrees, like maybe I'm making that up. And you're in this chamber and all of the like cold air is coming out, but it's just crazy. And you're stuck in there yourself. The first time I went in, I had a little bit of like claustrophobia and then after that I was fine. Just like doing it once made it better. But since I've gone up in intensity since I started, I used to regularly do it. I haven't been regularly doing it. And I went and I, I like lessened my time. I only did three minutes, but I did intensity of three. And that I was like, oh my God, I'm like literally gonna die. Um, but I made it through. It's really more of a mental game. I'm not necessarily like a cold punch girly. Like I haven't tried that. That scares me more for some reason than this. Cause you're like immersed in water that's touching you. And this is just like really, really, really cold air. Um, but it does just help and it clears your mind. So I'm telling you, I, this is gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a really great day. Hi guys, Sephora haul time. It is later on. Came home, well, I got my laser. I went to Sephora, came home, worked. I just finished the book that I've been reading the past couple of days, The Rewind. Would it recommend the characters make you, like, I hated the main character. Her biggest problem, I mean, like, not that, I don't know. It's just not my favorite book, so anyways. Like, I love these Summer Fridays lip balms, but I apply them too much and they just like don't last. But that's because I just put too much on probably. Anyways, here is my Sephora haul. 
got the translucent ultra blur setting powder from Laura Mercier. I obviously have the normal like Laura Mercier powder, but I don't know if I have the blurring one. I got two new lip products because I always do. I got this Merit, I think it's like a lip oil shade stick. I actually don't have anything from Merit and I've always wanted to try it out. What? Okay, we'll see how I like that. And then I got this Patrick Ta plumping gloss. I don't, I haven't tried anything from Patrick Ta and I've honestly like wanted to. What's, what's like really popular from them? Or I'm just turning on every lip product that I have. Oh, I really like the way that it like feels at least. Okay, they were out of the happy blush. So I got the like Rare Beauty. I got it in Grace, which I feel like might be like too much and too dark. But I'm gonna try it, so I guess we'll see today. Got this Hyaluronic Acid Serum from the Inky List that I love. It's only $7.99. I'll link all these products. Um, because I don't want to put on like my nice expensive skincare before I go work out in the morning. But I don't want to wear nothing. And I want to wear something that I know I actually like. Oh, I also got the Rare Beauty Concealer. Which I haven't really gotten to use this. I have to get ready to go. We're going to a happy hour at Leela's in like 30 minutes. So I have to get ready and take the dogs out. Gotta hurry up. Okay, this is a concealer. It looks like pretty light, but it's supposed to be like a highlighting concealer. That might be really the wrong shade. I got, oh, this Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I also got the Makeup by Mario Foundation and the House Labs by Lady Gaga. I actually, I don't know which one of these is my correct foundation. I think I'm gonna, or like shade. I don't even know if either one of them is the correct shade. So we're gonna open this House Labs. I've heard like amazing things about this foundation, both of them. Okay, this is just becoming too much. This packaging, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm a beauty girl, but this packaging is like beautiful. And it feels like there's so much product in here. Anyways, I was thinking about our little combo that we had yesterday. And I don't know if I'm a commitment phobe as much as I am like terrified of settling. But I get, like I know that like probably one day I'll just be like, oh this isn't settling and you know or whatever. But like I just, I don't know. Like I really think it's so ingrained in me. I don't wanna be that person because that was so annoying. I feel like in LA or just because of social media, we're always looking for like, the next big thing, the next best thing or people are committing for the reasons that I'm saying. Like there's gonna be something that comes around and I'm like afraid that I'm really gonna become that in like the worst way. But I, my biggest fear in life, I'm an Enneagram 3, so my biggest fear is failure. And to me, failure is settling. And like I even just, you know like you look at your friends and you're like, you, you could just be doing so much better. Not because they're like not a great guy, but because like there's just, there has to be like more than like what you're settling for. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I just, I don't know, I get really worried that that's gonna be me because I also can get like attached to people and I don't wanna like get attached to someone and then end up settling. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know. I'm still kind of down as you guys can tell, but hopefully just like a chill night will help me. I'm also really pale right now, so. Still going in with the Mary Phillips method. This has been a lot of get ready with me this week, but honestly, or just like this footage. I just, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, I was thinking this is gonna be like a highlight concealer, but I'm now thinking that this is just way too light. So we will see. It's gonna be under my, this is probably, oh my God. Wow, <laughs> wow. Wow, love what I did there. Okay. It blended better and like thank God the foundation's going on under. But this is like a highlighting concealer, I think. Concealer corrector. It's obviously just way too light. I think I just got confused when I was checking out. So we're gonna go in. Again, I don't even know if this is the right shade. We're gonna go in with the House Labs foundation. I think I was supposed to do less of that. I like it. I mean, it's super natural looking and I don't know if it's because of this technique or what. I feel like a lot of the product absorbed in onto my hand. Like there's just, I don't feel like that much was actually even picked up with the brush. 
But I do like the foundation like finish. It seems good. So I'm into that. This new Rare Beauty blush in Grace. This seems it's totally different than what I normally wear. It's like more berry, and I really stray, like stay away from like berry colors. Oh wow, really pigmented. Uh, my happy blush has been like out of stuff for so long that it's not that pigmented. So I forgot that you like really have to watch. Oh my god, what you do? Look, I look like a clown. I also feel like I need to put a little bit more bronzer on, and I should have gotten a new bronzer stick at Sephora, but I just was like, no, I have them. But what's y'all's favorite bronzer stick? Like, I liked it for the convenience, and I just like it because I have it, but I don't think it's like, I just realized I did the same brush. I'm not saying it's like the best thing ever, but I do like it. Like, I haven't tried enough to be like, this is the best one ever. So anyways, I like the foundation so far. Still have to fix my makeup so uh this weekend it's a pretty big weekend it's one of my best friend's birthdays we're doing a lot of stuff for that and that's starting like pretty early i've ordered those puff triangles like 15 times from amazon and it keeps saying they've delivered but they haven't so it's getting really annoying anyways tomorrow i'm supposed to be going horseback riding and then we have presley's birthday that's starting like pretty early and then sunday we have a hopalotis oh my god look at how much there is on here Oh, that, oh god, oh god, this is not good. Okay, this is not even the right thing for underneath my eyes. Guys, I'm like really not okay. Do you ever like look back at old photos of yourself and you're like, how was I doing my makeup? Because it looks so much better there, you know? Okay, like, I literally got like half of, fuck, half, uh, oh my god, damn it. I'm not kidding, it was like half of the, whatever that is. Okay, Sunday I'm hosting a Hopalotis class with some of y'all. For the Opind and then Sunday night. Jess and I have tickets to Noah Khan. I got them for her birthday. And he's finally in town. So that's exciting. Anyways, it's going to be a big weekend. So I'm doing happy hour tonight. But I want to be home. Like, I don't really want to go do anything tonight. I need I need to like recharge my social battery. After my weekend last weekend. And just the past couple of weeks. But setting spray. I couldn't bear to change out of these sweats. Even though. They're like too stretched out now from what I've been wearing today. I'm going to wear my pink bag for the first time and my pink scarf, which is downstairs. So we're going to go downstairs. I'm taking my Patrick Ta lip gloss with me. Maybe a little lip balm. This is a mess. Like, I really am not loving this. I'm going to clean this up really quick. Jess is going to pick me up in really soon actually okay this is my outfit i can't decide if i'm gonna wear a coat or not i'm gonna take the dogs outside and decide um i just have my scarf on all like white or cream really really cozy the thing about these pants they're actually from rainy melville but the thing about these pants is that they're sweats but like they kind of look a little bit like dressier you know what i mean so everything's matching i need to switch my bag over and also put my pink card case that by the way i got and i love also into my pink bag the latch is nice because it's not just like super easy there isn't a zipper on top of it so i'll link the bag still but it's like i would feel comfortable wearing this out in texas for the most part but i maybe not in like a big city i don't know like at least at night you know with pickpocketing and stuff i don't know what am i even talking about guys but just something to keep in mind if you will Anyways, I'm just throwing some things in here, and then we're going to head to Lila's. It's going to be a great time. So there's trends that go up and down and up and down, and then I went to college in the 2000s, and I was an athlete, and then I was a professional athlete, so I definitely became very neurotic and went down like a nice, narrow path, and I think taking the approach to overall wellness with your when you're considering your fitness is like the, the best approach, right?